say for around 67 today following 68 what was different out there so conditions wise yeah uh yesterday it was blowing um it was and the hard part was it wasn't a steady wind there was times where we'd get over a shot and it's blowing five and there's times where we're literally playing for 25 yards of wind so it was really tricky and and i scored it incredible yesterday and honestly played way better yesterday than i did today but conditions were just perfect i was first off greens are as pure as they can possibly be and there was really no wind till my back nine there so i was able to take advantage of that front nine even though everything wasn't necessarily clicking but i was really happy with the way i scored so if you have a fan club that really travels you had a lot of guys a lot of family watching you on the west coast and then your brother and his friend yeah. are watching you at the travelers yeah yeah um, but now we're in detroit which is uh, that's not really near where your brother goes to yeah. school and yeah, yeah and it's not in the west do you have anybody at all or yeah so it? so it's funny a lot of my uh my dad's friends that he went to college with in india um, there's a pretty big uh, Indian community in the Dearborn, Canton area. So I had an uncle come out yesterday and watch. Or I call him uncle. He's one of my dad's good friends. But um, I think there'll be a few few more out uh, on the weekend. But, yeah, it's um, they're going to be out there for the first week of the playoffs. So that's going to be nice. Or at least my dad. I don't think my mom and brother. They're actually in India right now. But, uh -huh. um, yeah, still good to, even after the round yesterday, see a familiar face. You said you've been hitting well and not scoring and so far yeah. scoring and not hitting. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Golf in a nutshell? Golf in a nutshell, yeah. I, I say, like, hitting it well and not scoring. I was still scoring it well, but it just felt like I was leaving so many shots out there. And um, I, I've, I can count on my right hand how many good putting weeks I've had this year. So it, it's nice to get off to a good start like, like this. And it is golf in a nutshell. I was texting a buddy yesterday. I was like, it's just impossible to get every part of your game clicking at the right time, right? But it seems like the great players, the you know top 10 players, seem to find a way to do that on weeks. Uh, there's certain weeks where everything's clicking, and that's when they end up winning. How thrilled were you to get in yesterday with that 68, knowing that you yes. probably get a break this morning? Yeah. Um, gosh, I I scored it really well yesterday, and I had a really funny finish. I, I, I tried to hit driver off the deck out of the rough. My, Carl tried to talk me out of it on 17, but I hit it in a cross bunker 60 yards away. I was happy to make par there. And then first time um, in me and Carl's caddy player relationship, we got a wrong number on 18. We're off the wrong head. Air mail the green. We were 20 yards off. So to escape, with, I made a 10-footer to finish yesterday. So that was big. Um, and knew, like, this morning it was going to be green light special. I mean, the course is just too pure right now, like, hit the fairway it still penalizes you in the rough but hit the fairways i mean nearly every hole seems like a birdie hole but um i think that's what's great about this course you can make a ton of birdies but you get out of position all of a sudden you're really scrambling and what have you, what have you learned about all these close calls this year yeah um you know it's uh, golf is tough and i feel like I've, I've had a very good year but fairly streaky it's either like whenever i'm playing well i feel like i'm in contention but the weeks even it feels a little off. Um, I think I'm starting to get better of making those weeks from like a 60th. I made a lot of cuts, but I had a lot of 60th finishes and kind of taking those into like the, you know, John Deere was a good example. I finished 16th there and um, 34th at the open, like just making those bad weeks a little bit better. Bad weeks. I still playing well, but, um, but yeah, um, no, I'm never taking being in contention for granted. Um, luckily my game's been on a steady trend upwards and um Hopefully, I keep putting in the work and keep showing on the course. When do you start, obviously, goal coming in every week is to get that win, but when do you start letting yourself yeah. think about that, that possibility? Honestly, never. Uh, my whole life, I've never really allowed myself to, to get ahead. I think a lot of the guys who are prolific winners out here will say the same thing. They're, they're not really thinking about the win unless it's really late on Sunday on the back nine and a lot, all of a sudden, those guys find themselves at the top of the leaderboard and they find a way to close. So, uh, honestly, like even my mindset coming into the weeks is not to win. Um, I feel like I, there's so much more in my game that I have to progress. Like, I, I was joking with Carl, I played like a five handicap on that front nine today. I was blading wedges, flopping drivers. It was, it was gnarly. But uh, it's just cool to see, like, I have a lot of room to improve. And, and uh, yeah, so I'm not really too worried about the win. Um, you know, if, if I'm able to get it sometime soon, then awesome. Still looking for that first though, right? Uh, yes. Don't you want it? <laughs> oh, I, trust me, I want it more than anything. I'm, 
I might not seem like it, but I, I'm so competitive, and there's nothing I hate more than losing. So, um, I'm trust me, I'm grinding as hard as I can for that win. But it, it's it's I'm not forcing it all, you know. Um, just I've already I've grown so much this year, and uh, I feel like I'm putting myself in a good position for the rest of the tournaments, the playoffs, and then hopefully early in the next year. I just uh, met a little eight-year-old boy named Trey. Yeah. Uh, you gave your glove to him. Cool. I asked him, and he said all he wanted was his hat to be signed, and then you gave him his glove, and he could barely talk. He was so excited. Yeah. I know you get young fans at every stop, but does that get old, or what does that mean to you no, just to no. hear that? It's awesome. I mean, it. it's the opposite. I think it's, start, it's, new, it's so new for me, and it's just so cool that I have so many people rooting for me, and and you know to make uh trey's day like that is just it puts a smile on my face too you know it's so cool that people are out there rooting for me and um i wish there was a way to like thank into every individual person that's supporting me but there's just so many that it's not possible but yeah i feel the love every week now and it's incredible that's so positive ben, you mentioned that uh you feel like there's others that are probably ahead of you for rookie of the year. Yeah, yeah. How big a goal is that for you? Yeah. And what do you think a victory this week would do for your chances? Yeah. Um, it's not uh, really a goal that I had or even now that I'm close that I feel like I need to get or anything. It's just those guys like Davis, Mito. I mean, Cam Young is by far the front runner right now, in my opinion, um, and more deserving right now. Um you know, if I happen to have a great couple weeks and in, in here and in the playoffs, then maybe that might change. But like I said, I think I think Cam's like nine or ten under today. But yeah, he's he's such a talent, and I think he's deserving of that for now. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Good guys. luck for the weekend. Thank you.